Recently, I received some ice elastomers from a fellow Bent Rider Online member. He sent me all three types, soft, medium, and hard. So I'm going to do some testing to see what the difference is between the elastomers and the springs that are on my Quest. I'll do some not-so-scientific testing to see if it's better or worse from the springs. The elastomers, I'm told, ride a little bit stiffer and provide more support in a velomobile. Some people feel that it causes it not to roll quite as much. So right now the Quest that I have, I have the shortened springs on it and you can see that in a previous video. And you can see where I've changed them out. I took out the, the very soft spring and the medium spring and I put in just the red springs that come from velomobile.nl. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to try is replacing the springs that are in there with the original springs, but this is really only half of it. If you recall from my video when I replaced the springs, this is the lower half. There was another softer spring on top, which gave it about this much spring. So I'm going to see if this is enough clearance, if this will allow the Velo to ride just fine and things like that. It will obviously lower it down. A lot but I'm gonna see if there's enough clearance inside the wheel well for it to operate properly and if so that means that I can probably use half of the elastomer for each side or maybe a little bit more than half because looking at it two springs together don't quite make an elastomer so if I've got enough clearance on this if I cut one of these elastomers in half then I'll either have one for the rear shock, or I'll have enough to do a repair. So I'm going to see if the original short ones will work. Well, so what's the worst that can happen? I'm going to cut this exactly in half. The worst that can happen is it becomes unusable. I want to try. I want to try and lower it down at the same time. Uh, I just have to see what that's going to do. That's in, in with the smallest spring and the problem is is now I have all of the connectors that really won't fit properly. So that is where the issue comes in. So it's not so much about clearance, it's about all the connecting rods. So I'm gonna have to make it so it comes down quite a ways so the springs that I got from Velmobile NL may be the short springs already and I'm gonna have to go with that size so they might be the shortest that I can go already okay so what I have here is I have the original setup this is the soft spring and the stiff spring and this is how it comes normally this is the medium setting there is a there is another spring that's this tall that's a soft one for really soft rides and when I asked for the short stiff springs that's what I got they're the red ones that are more stiff and they're short and you can see how much shorter they are <coughs> so I'm already at the short side so I'm gonna to have to take these elastomers and cut them there. So I'm not gonna have any spares. I'm gonna have little bits left over, but that's just how it goes. I have to say I'm quite surprised already. I, I did not expect them to be that noticeable. I thought it would be a very stiff ride, but um, I think it's still gonna be a stiff ride, but 
these are going to have some cushion to them. I can feel, um, I can feel the cushion. So now I have to take it out for a test drive and just see how it feels. Just going to go for a short test ride. This is the first test run with the elastomers. I don't know how it's going to feel. Let's see what happens. So, well, right away I can tell on the driveway. There is hardly any bounce at all, but I still have cushion. Okay, so just down my driveway, that seems to work. Now I'm gonna continue on a little bit and see how it feels. Oh man, I like it. it seems to have taken out the, uh, the springing from side to side. I like it so far. It seems it seems really stiff, but it's not uncomfortable. It seems like I have better pedaling, more of more of the body, or more of my powers going to the body and not fighting the rocking so much. So yeah, I like it. Okay, so initial thoughts. Really smooth, soft ride. So I still have plenty, still have plenty of shock absorption, but it's a really smooth ride and it's really quiet. I may have to get another set for the rear. If it's going to quiet it down this much, but still give me a comfortable ride, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it feels like I got a lot more of my power transferring to the Velo. Definitely not as much rocking when I'm trying to pedal fast, which is a good thing. Feels like the power is going right to the velo. So that's cool. I hate it when people tailgate me like that when I'm turning. But it didn't hit me, so that's good. I'm wondering if putting one on the back. So I'm wondering if putting one on the back would not only make it calm down, but help me to transfer more power from the chain to the velo because I don't know if, if you've noticed in the past, but when I was noticing when I did the ride in London with John, John and Graham, when John started to take off in his quest, the back would kind of squat down a little bit because the spring was compressing. So I'm wondering if that'll make it so it'll transfer more power directly to the wheel, giving me power and I won't lose so much power and energy through compressing and uncompressing the rear shock spring. All right, so far, I like it. I think this is a good change.